One of the most frequently used forms of thin language is a technique known as parallel editing. As the name implies, it's an assembly of two or more storylines that alternate from one center of interest to another. Let's look at a film example and identify its parallel elements. Come play with me, James. It's fun down here. <laughs> now, here's the film represented as a linear timeline. If we separate the individual elements, we see how alternating between the boy and his environment connects the two, making them mutually dependent on one another. This technique is commonly used by filmmakers to present two related storylines or two conflicting characters or two different events to audiences in a familiar way that they can easily understand. When we are told a story, we unconsciously want to know two things, what action is going on and how the people involved are reacting to it. Most shots created for film contain both action and reaction in a single take. Look at these two shots, for example. Oh, <laughs> Sequencing these shots one after the other works okay, but watch how much more engaging they become when we combine their separate actions and reactions. This demonstrates the effectiveness of parallel editing when used to interrelate two separate events. This process of manipulating action will cause you to be more selective as you work through your film's story so that only the peak moments are shown on screen. Editing will allow you to compress or expand time while still providing the illusion of a real-time event. Less time is typically spent on uneventful story elements and more time is usually used to depict meaningful ones. Let's compare a rags to riches film about a notable boxer with a live boxing event. The live event features a single match that takes place in real time with no editing other than switching between various camera views. In contrast, the film will not only feature highlights from several matches, but also include aspects of the fighter's home life, the kind of work he does to survive, his training at the local gym, and his personal relationships, including a love interest. In both these cases, the same amount of time could be spent viewing either one, but the amount of information transmitted, including our emotional attachment, varies greatly. This is the unique power of film when properly planned and executed. A long succession of actions and reactions such as these pretty much dictate all the formulas for your camera placement and sequence construction as well as your needs for editing. There are two approaches you can use to obtain shots for use in parallel editing multiple shots of short duration, or a single long master shot. A master shot is a single camera position from which one or more events are recorded in their entirety. Fragments of these long takes are selected and edited in parallel using the best or most significant segments of each one. This approach was used for the action and reaction example we saw earlier. For short shots, an event is covered by using multiple camera setups as we see here. The entire event can only be seen once these shots have been assembled like this. Notice how the walk was extended by sequencing different shots of the same footsteps. 
Both methods are quite dynamic and offer definite pictorial advantages over a single shot recording of a scene. The technique of parallel editing is not limited to just scenes. It also applies on a larger scale to the multiple storylines in your film. More specifically, this alternating technique allows you to determine how much information you intend to share with your audience based on the type of story you want to tell. Let's have a look at some popular films for some insight on how this is done. The separate storylines of Jack and Rose in the film Titanic work together to inform us of their growing love for each other, including the social barriers they must overcome as we alternate between the high and low class decks of the ship. In Star Wars, Luke and his fellow rebels are unaware of what Darth Vader and the Empire are up to, but we, the audience, have all the facts. The information provided for the three main storylines of Pulp Fiction is presented out of chronological order. The characters have all the facts, but we are purposely kept uninformed to stimulate our interest. The daily grind depicted in the first half of Office Space remains constant and is juxtaposed against Peter's increasing worry-free attitude towards it. So there you have it. Parallel film editing will always provide you with the best method for conveying information effectively to your audience. And the two basic elements of action and reaction will help you complete your presentation.